So I'm going to create an Azure file share in the console first. So to get started, we need to navigate to your storage account. So within your storage account under services, you'll see blobs, files, tables, and queues. We want to go into files and we click on the plus file share button and we're going to create a share called logs. We are asked for a quota. So this can go up to five terabytes. We'll select 20 gigabytes. So now that we've created this, we obviously want to try and test it, see if we can connect to it and drop a file into it. So we'll have a look at that access key first. So under key one, we need to take a copy of that key and you'll see storage account name. We need to take a copy of that as well. So as you'll see, I've already taken a copy. So I've got Azure and NR storage account, which is the, the username and the password, which is the access key, which I've retrieved. And you'll see the share name. So you'll see NR storage account. Then after that, we've got .file.core.windows.net. That's followed by the name of the share that we created. So let's try and browse to that. So we're prompted for a username and password. We then paste in the access key and click OK. So let's create a quick test file. Now, if we go back to the portal, we go into our share and you'll see the file we created. So we'll just remove this, which is quite straightforward. Select delete. Say yes. So that's deleted the file. Let's actually delete the share. So it's a similar menu and this time you select delete share. So you'll be prompted to type in the name of the share this is just to ensure that you are removing the right share. 